The Drinking Bird. You may have seen this as a novelty toy, but the physics behind how it works is actually quite deceptive. Besides looking kind of silly, the Drinking Bird is known for supposedly being a perpetual motion device. In reality though, perpetual motion is impossible because energy is always lost from the system. So how can this drinking bird work seemingly forever? The drinking bird is actually a simple heat engine. The first key step is to make the felt head of the bird wet. As water evaporates, thermal energy is removed from the head, which cools down the vapor inside. Because changing the temperature of a contained gas also changes its pressure, this causes a pressure difference inside the bird. The pressure difference then causes the liquid, which is usually methylene chloride, to move up the tube. The bird then becomes top heavy and begins to pivot around the axle. At first the motion is gradual until the bird reaches a tipping point at which it falls into the water. The fluid then flows out of the stem and the pressure is equalized. The bird head is then wet and the process repeats itself. So when does the bird stop? When all the water evaporates from the head and the head dries out. See? Simple. If you found this topic interesting, you should check out the book The Flying Circus of Physics by Gerald Walker, which explains the physics behind all sorts of everyday situations such as the drinking bird. According to Gerald Walker, he was initially interested in scaling up the drinking birds to turn turbines, but abandoned this idea out of fear that people would worship the devices. Please contact us if you're interested in starting a drinking bird cult in your area.